Oh, we used the wrong hand. <laughs> then we'll put that middle there. That little hammer's got a magnet on it, so that's why I'm using that. You don't have if you've got good fingers, well you can you don't have to Put this metal in there. Is it sound on too? Is it, is it sound on too? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'll put this metal on there. This, this is to help the frame from being stuck to the wood. And if the mm -hmm. moths might get in there, they won't eat on the metal so okay. bad. So I'll put that on there and the frame will actually rest on it. And when you, you buy the buy the box from Dayton or somewhere, it means it'll be a part and it has nail holes already in it where you can drive. Nails and then nails this way. Okay. And interlock together makes it real strong. Okay. And it'll come with this this screw in it, cut in it, see. Mm-hmm. And uh And you obviously painted it. And yeah, you got it'll come in bare and I paint it with a brush or you can just air acrylic. Gun, air gun, yeah, just plain old late outdoor. Oh okay. Late, it's all right. Uh, you can buy from some other manufacturer the boxes made out of cypress. In cypress, you don't have to paint them. It, that, that wood won't rot. And, uh, but of course, you paint a lot of times to make it decorative. And, and, uh, Now this box that you're building, it's for harvesting, but not for them to live in. Right. This is the super for them to put the honey in. This is where they'll they start. They raise their bees in the bottom box, which is about ten inches tall. This was about six and a half inches tall. This box, and uh, then the, they raise their bees, and they they also have put honey down there and pollen down there, so it's close to them. But once they get the bees and, and it looks like the honey flow has quit, but everything quits blooming and then they'll start back putting, harvesting the honey. Now I'm going to put this back down here uh, on this and I'll get these frames one at a time. Now you, now you don't have to stay and do all of these. If you don't want to, I can put them together. But, uh, but I'm going to. Th these are come in so This was this is one piece. Each one of these is a separate oh, piece, and, they, and it comes with this piece here that's that's got a solid in it, and it's got that piece of, of it on there. Mm -hmm. I like to cut that out, and I don't see my other tool. I don't know what I did with it. It's a. I have two somewhere. Yeah, I'll use it. I'll use it. Was it, it just a knife? Yeah, this is just, just kind of scrape that off. Now this is how you prefer it. Uh but I don't know what, how I prefer to do it. Yeah, because oh, you can other buy them people, already. Now you can buy them with other kind of a wax. That, but by you scraping it, you yeah, just you like you can it buy better. some. You can buy them. This is all made out of plastic. Oh, uh, okay. And I'm not sure that's a good idea. Or not. And then this is going to go in there, and I'm going to put I'm going to put one together. Okay. With the that over there out of the way. I'll put the wax on it. I'm going to 
some of it. It was like that, so. Yeah, I got some. Now that's when I put that wire in there. There's a little eyelet that we put in those holes there. Mm -hmm. But we're not going to do that this time. Okay, because we're doing the pre-wax. Right, this one's going to be the time you can squeeze the honey out. Okay. Now, where's my nails? Good. Now, I've got the wax. Cut the paper between it. Take it off and put it in the trash can and let blow it out in the yard, let the neighbor pick it up or put it in my pocket. <laughs> See this has got a little barb to it. Yeah. Bit, okay. Yeah, put that put that little barb up so that when I put this in there, oh, okay. it'll hold it in there. So Just the bottom of it down there. buy it, it comes with nails, and I can't find the nails that, oh, okay. I, I don't know what, they're here somewhere, but I couldn't find them. It's just hard for me to get out there with my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> with that. So I guess when it's time to take the honey, I just pull this all back out and then squeeze it by hand, and then put in uh, a new well, wax? You're, right, you're going to have to take it, take it out. Mm-hmm. And, uh, probably have to... Just squeeze the whole thing out, probably. And then you can. I don't know how it. hard it's going to be to take it. Well, when I this, this or can down this a little bit, I'll show you what it's doing. Or can now, I, I just always put, put it this together and put in the spinner. I'm putting my pressure against it. Okay. And I want to put. This is the kind that I cannot put in the spinner, correct? No, this is the kind. This is the type you need to use in the spinner, but you don't have a spinner. Okay, but it, so it can be in the spinner. Okay. I, I just want to buy a spinner then. <laughs> I don't know if I can make build these over and over. But what was the other one that you were saying about the wire that goes through here? Yeah, I got a, I got a roll of wire. So I'll put these little these little, 
drilled here in there. Now this hole's not big enough, so I have to take a drill and drill them oh. out. Just a little bit larger. Okay. It's a 964 size drill bit. Mm -hmm. Put it in there. Yeah. You see, they go in there. And then when I put the wire in there, I go this side and this side, and the middle one goes on this side. Okay. And it goes one end to the other. And then to put the wire in there, I gotta put a drive a nail in there. Yes. And wrap the wire around that nail and run it through there. Okay. And back up the side here, and then back up the other side, and back around like this side. Back down and put another nail there and get it tight. And but is it also with this wax or is it this another? This is the type of wax. Mm -hmm. This. This is, I don't have the, the, type, other wax. the other wax here. I never oh, did okay. that look before. So I said, you can use this. Mm -hmm. This okay. is just good if you're going to cut it out. You, you can... Let me finish driving that in there before I forget. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, so you, since you, you can't cut through that wire with a, a knife. Right. It's pretty hard to do. But you can take the knife and, and cut this way and this way and then Oh, here. okay. Right? Yes. Or you can go as far here and here and here. But why would I and, want to cut the wax? Well, you're going to have to cut it out and put it in a pan somewhere and squeeze it. Okay, but like let's say I have my spinner. If you have your spinner, you don't do you that. You just set it in there. You, you, okay. The spinner, they're going to put a cap over it. They're going to seal it. And you got to cut it with the hot and knife. you got to cut it off. Okay. Both sides. Because okay. they're going to build it all the way out to here, out to this oh. point here. And they'll build it way out past this point. Oh. And you cut that off and you put that in the spinner thing mm -hmm. and, and then sling it. Okay. So, like, okay, if I don't have the spinner, I'm going to cut it the way you said it. And then for next time, are they just by themselves going to build back this wax? Or do I just got to take this no, all gonna, apart gonna, and do it again? You've got to get some more wax. Okay. All right. You've got to get some more wax. All right. Uh, if you're gonna spin it out, mm -hmm. you don't have to. You can use, yeah, right. Use the wax again. Okay. But if you're just gonna have what they call cut comb, uh -huh. or some that you're gonna squeeze out by hand, well, there's a another. Well, let me go see if I can find that. Okay. See this? This is the one. I have to use this. So cut that up in mm -hmm. hunks and put it in there. And then oh, it okay. Yeah, I've got one of those at home. That squeeze it out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, that that one is that one is ready. Yeah, that one's ready to put in the. Okay, so that's pretty much the process, and then you just put it in the box. Now some of when I've got a stapler in there, that, and I didn't use it. Stapled, it's air, mm -hmm. air compressor. Oh, yeah. Staple it down, and you're going to staple through here, and you're going to staple through here, and then hold it together. Hold okay. the frame together, it don't hold the wire. Now, what I was doing then, and I'll go get those other pliers. I got some more pliers in there that I didn't bring them out of here, but I like I like take the pliers and squeeze that nail down in mm -hmm. there like that mm -hmm. instead of hammering. And some of the nails, if you get them too long, they'll come out on this side. Okay. And you may have cut you. Well, can I practice one myself? Uh, yep. Okay. All righty. Here we go.